I'm Madison and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. Today I'm going to be reviewing Crayola's newest kit, Washable Paint Pour Art Set. Let's check it out. So washable paint pour art set, layer and pour, tilt and spin. Amazing paintings are as easy as pouring out a cup of paint. As we all know, paint pour is super trendy right now. Um, the box feels pretty heavy. It says create amazing artwork, includes 20 plus pieces. And it says for eight and older, choking hazard warning, you know, small parts, not for children under three, you know the drill. So yeah, this seems really kid friendly and I love that. So let's open it up. Come on, I need a scissor. Okay, so it comes with a plastic drip bowl in black, the Crayola beaker, which I'm guessing is where you pour the paint, three stir sticks, which are much like popsicle sticks, a little baby strainer. This is actually, Really cute, okay. A pipette, the canvas tray, which I will have to put together when I start this, directions, three canvases, and then of course the paint, it's in here, let's open it. Okay, so we've got two white, two blue, two red, two yellow, and two purple. Of course, you've got, you know, the primary colors, you can make a bunch of different colors out of all of these colors, so we have all the colors. So far with all of this stuff, I'm getting really excited. This is of course already very kid friendly. It's Crayola. It's not very intimidating. It looks like it's not a big mess, even though I always make a big mess. Anyway, let me try it. Okay, so here is our black tray and then you take this little swivel piece and this is gonna go in the center. So you just kind of gotta pop that in right there. You will see it swiveling around. Perfect, working great. And then you are gonna take this tray piece and you can see that it snaps perfectly in the center. And then we have these little arm handles. I'm popping them on, but it's a little bit easier if you take it off and then pop them on and then put it back on. So once you've done that, you're going to add a canvas onto the tray and now it's time to mix up the paint. So you have this beaker here and you wanna fill paint up to the 20 mark and then you're going to use your pipette and take a little bit of water exactly half a tablespoon of water and add it into the mixture then you're going to take your stir stick and you're just going to stir until all the clumps come out until there's this nice even consistency and once you're done mixing you're going to pour that paint into a separate cup and then you're going to go and you're going to clean your beaker and you're going to do this for all the colors that you want to make so I went ahead and mixed all of my colors off camera and now I'm going to try the strainer first because I'm most excited about that. You just put it down in the center and you're going to start pouring. They say to pour in circular motions and I am going to use the colors yellow, red, and white. Um, so I'm pouring here and you can kind of see at the end it gets a little thick and it doesn't all leave probably because when I made the white or the yellow I didn't use enough water so make sure you're measuring perfectly so I'm just gonna take it off and wow that looks like a really cool sunburst and now <laughs> what's left to do is you tilt away keep that paint flowing <laughs> do whatever you want to do to cover the whole space or not and don't stop tilting until you love it so I'm just going to take that off carefully and put it aside to dry and I'm going to try another one. So if you got a little messy like I did and want to clean the paint off, definitely do that first before you add another canvas. Um, so this time I'm going to try to use the spinner top method. So it comes with this little spinner and you have to attach it to the bottom of the tray. So let me just go ahead and snap that in like that. And you'll see now I am going to spin it and it spins really, really well. But when I cover it with the tray, I'm not going to be able to spin it like that. So I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, see, you have to use your hands on the sides and it doesn't get as good of a spin. Anyway, let's try it out. So you have to spin it and then while you're spinning it, you pour the paint. So here we go spinning and pouring the paint but the spin is not fast enough so it's not really doing anything cool so I am just going to add more paint to this canvas and stop doing that that was a little bit of a fail for me anyway this one is just random kind of an abstract look uh, so I'm gonna cover this okay that's definitely cool too um, I want to do one more with a different technique though 
Okay, now this time I'm going to add paint in the center one color at a time. This is kind of making me wish that I mixed colors and made an orange and made a light pink, but that's okay. So these are all the colors that they gave us. And again, I am just tilting around, adding some more weight on the side if you need it. I don't really think that this batch is flowing well. It looks really, really slow. Again, that could be a water problem. I maybe didn't add enough or maybe you just need more or I could have stirred it better. Anyway, make sure you're doing all of that right. Oops, my handle fell off. Um, okay, so now I'm just picking it up because you don't even really need this tray. Like I said, you can use your hands to do this and maybe it'll flow faster, but that doesn't really seem to be helping. So I'm going to put this one aside and I'm really excited now because I'm going to try to do this on an actual canvas 10 by 10. I recommend doing this. Okay, I'm going to use the strainer again because I love the way that first one looked and this time I'm using the remainder of my paint and I think that really helped because I added way more than I needed and I'm starting to think that that's kind of what you want to do to get that flow. So perhaps don't be as careful with your paint. Add a little bit more than you think because you get that really, really nice pour. I love the way this turned out. So I got to try another one, but my hands are messy. So let me wash them first. Now I just wanted to show you what it looks like with deco paint pour so you can see the difference. These colors are a little bit muted, not as bright, and I wanted to show you that the Crayola paint looks really good. They both did the same thing. This just maybe looks a little bit lighter because they're not as bright as the Crayola ones, but definitely a good job. It's uh, pretty similar. Here are the canvases that I bought without the kit on the wall. And here are the canvases that came with the kit. They sort of bent in the middle. They dried a little bit funny. Um, these came out cool. I actually think this one on the right looks like a rat king. Don't you see it? You see his little nose? Um, but yeah, all three of them have a little bit of a curve down the middle. And I wasn't too happy about that. But I would encourage you to definitely get your own canvases like I did. Okay, I'm all done and I can definitely say that that was a lot of fun and I am 20 something. So my thoughts on the kit, number one, I think it should have come with paper cups to use. So if you're going to get this, definitely get little Dixie cups to use on the side because you're going to need those. Also, the kit only comes with three canvases and I would maybe suggest not even using those and instead going to Michael's and getting, you know, maybe four or even six canvases to use because even if there isn't enough paint to cover six, you can use canvases for other kinds of art. So I recommend doing that because it kind of looks way cooler on the bigger scale. And then the thing that I was most unhappy with, um, the spinner didn't really work, so I wasn't able to get that cool spin effect where you do the paint pour. That was a little bit of a fail. Uh, maybe when you try it, it'll be better, but for me, and now reasons why I loved the kit. Number one, I love that mini strainer. I will use that all the time. This kit comes with a good amount of paint. Of course, you want to be careful. You don't want to be too heavy handed. You want to measure the water and the paint perfectly so you get the most paint you can get out of it. And the best part is it's Crayola paint. It's totally washable. I got it all over my sink, all over my hands, and it came off with just water. I didn't even need soap, so that's a plus. Overall, I think this kit is great for kids ages 8 to 11, especially ones that have showed interest in paint pour because it is totally trending right now. This kit is not intimidating at all. It's easy to read the directions. It's easy to use. And I had a really fun time, so I think they would too. With that being said, if you have a child that is more experienced in art, more skilled, you don't need this kit. Just go to Michaels, get canvases, get the paint pour from DecoArt like I showed you, and use your hands and go back and forth. You do not need the plastic tin, although it is really kitschy and really fun, and would be fun for an eight-year-old. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you gave it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to see more crafts. You can find me on Instagram at MathCrafty, and I'll see you next time. Bye!